All right, hey guys, it's me. Um, first of all, thank you for watching these videos or this video. Before I get into the video of this um, Oceanside Pier that I'm gonna be working on in Lightroom and Luminar, I do want to explain a little bit of what you'll see if you stick all the way to the end. I made this video, I recorded it on my computer a few days ago. I uploaded it into DaVinci Resolve to just finish up and put some of the text and stuff in there. And what I immediately noticed is that the picture does not look like on DaVinci as I'm watching it through, it looks very different than what I saw in Lightroom. And I'll show this to you. Um, there's a little bit of a preface to what I'm explaining. Um, it looked too blue. And so as you're watching the video, if you start to think the picture's looking too blue or off, I don't know if it's gonna render out normally, but I'll explain it, I'll show it to you. I'm going to cut in probably toward the end of this video and try to show you what I mean. So if it goes on a little bit long, um, that's what I wanna show you, try to figure out what's going on here. So um, just wanted to explain that first, uh, stick around till the end because I do think I come out with a pretty cool picture, one that I actually really like. But uh, that's it, enjoy the video, thanks again. Hello everybody, today I'm doing this picture of a surfer and other surfers, and this is in Oceanside, California, in San Diego. Actually, this is a more recent picture that I've taken. Most, <laughs> the last like handful of videos I've posted have all been old pictures. And this is from a trip to California, when did we go, January? Yeah, I think January, um, so a few months ago. So I'm gonna do this picture, but I'm actually gonna do the whole thing in Luminar, and I'm just gonna do it as a plugin. Um, I do use Luminar's, I, it is synced to my Lightroom library, which I don't know if is the best way to do it, but um, so when I work in Luminar, I usually just go in there and work in Luminar. But I'm just gonna start in Lightroom, and I'm gonna go in Luminar, and I'm gonna punch this picture up. I kind of have an idea in mind for what I wanna do, but we'll see where I go. I am probably gonna play a little bit with some of the fake sky tools, which I think for a picture like this, you know, it, it could look good. I mean, the sky's a little bit boring, but we'll see. So just get into it. I pretty much do the same, same thing. Luminar is such a bizarre lot layout. Like. Where the hell are highlights? There we go. Sorry. Highlights. So I don't need to really pull down my highlights. I like the exposure. I will open up my shadows. Get a bit of a white point going. I gotta make this like a little bit bigger, I think. Hold on. There we go. So in the old version of Luminar, it always drove me crazy because when you would open up, I forget what they call it now, the panels or the different things, they would drop over part of the picture. And I can't tell you how many pictures I'd be working on and I'd be working in this panel and I'd be brushing in parts of it. And then when I close out of it, this whole hunk of screen was untouched. That was just me being stupid. But all right, temperature. I'm actually, I like the blue in this. So I'm actually gonna pull this back a little bit and I'm just going to go a little bit further into the blue. I'm not going to do anything with the tent. Tent's fine. Uh, let's see. Smart contrast. Add a little bit of contrast. I actually love one of my favorite tools in Luminar 4 is uh, the Pro Contrast, which I'll get to, I'm sure. And then, you know, I like to use some of these things. I'll try just the AI accent. I mean, I don't know. It kind of does a little bit of what I just did. Sky Enhancer is pretty much just gonna be like a polarizing filter. Since I'm probably gonna replace this sky, I'll do a little bit of this, but I'm not too worried about it. So there's the Enhancer uh, structure. This is definitely a picture I wanna put some structure into because I really want this pier to you know stand out. Um, the AI Smart structure is supposed to you know recognize people, but that's not really what's going on in this. But I like that. I think just off what I did there, I like it in the water. I like the structure in the water, and I like it on the pier. Um, let's just see if we can blah, before after. So yeah, gives it a little bit of a punch uh, color. No, I don't have anything to do here. I'm not gonna, it's not really much color variety going on. Detail enhancer. 
Small details, one of my other favorite sliders in Luminar, which I'm definitely going to use and brush in on the pier. It, I, I notice on this picture, if you've watched my other videos, um, I think I think this might be the first picture I've done and posted on this channel that was taken on my can my newer camera, which I I shoot on a Canon EOS. I never know if it's EOS or EOS. But I shoot on the R. Um, I I like it. It's a great camera. I'm, I'm pretty happy with it so far. I'm still figuring out a few things with it when it comes to taking pictures of people. I take a lot of pictures of like my kids and stuff. But um, with focus issues, I think that looks good on the pier. Actually, it looks good almost everywhere. I'll probably brush it in on the pier and then maybe brush it on the surfer a little bit. Let's see what it looks like in the water. Off on you, yeah, yeah. See, this is what I like about Luminar is I don't have to go to a new layer. I can get my brush right here. I do turn my opacity down a little bit because I'll usually just make a couple of passes. And so I'm just gonna go here all along the pier. See, this is a second pass, so I can kind of hammer areas that I want to. I'll zoom in maybe on this guy. Maybe not. This dude, brush some detail into him. But anyway, what I was saying, I can really, I can definitely tell the difference when I'm working with files from this camera, especially for pictures like this. Um, much bigger, or I'm just much cleaner, much sharper. Uh, so far, I'm really happy with the camera. So there's before and after, it's kind of hard to tell. Yeah, see, I can tell on the pier when I turn it off and on. Um, so maybe I'll, I'll sharpen a little bit too. So I think that looks good. I want the pier to look nice and sharp. The surfer looks nice and sharp. Okay, denoise. I don't need any dehoise. I don't need my landscape. So the thing about sky replacement. Oh, this is the new one. I haven't really played with that yet. Sky replacement is you can only do it on the first layer. And so... I don't know, for the sky, I might just want to do like, just like clouds. I don't know. I don't have any like custom skies loaded in here. Do those clouds look good? They kind of fit, right? I'm definitely going to be cropping this, so we're not going to be seeing the whole sky. I think that looks a little bit better. Blue sky two. I'm not going to go through all these guys. Oh, that one looks good. Blue sky three, not very different. Blue sky four. So do we like fluffy clouds or more, what do you call these, cumulus, strata cumulus, whatever? I don't know. Oh, that looks kind of cool. I think that's a cool look. I think that kind of fits with the picture. Okay, so that's it. I'm not going to screw around too much. I don't really need to relight the screen because it's, they're both, day, relight the scene because they're both daylight. I will just check the horizon because I do know from playing with this before it's one of those things you think is right and then gosh the lag on this sometimes all right so move it down just a little bit it doesn't need to be all the way at the horizon like it doesn't need to be perfect because the clouds don't always sit right at the horizon I'm just gonna leave it like that it's fine okay moving on what the hell what is this augmented sky Balloon one. Oh gosh. Clouds isn't. What? What in the world? Eagle? Okay, so this is just like you can Photoshop stuff into your sky. What in the world? A giraffe? What? Oh, yeah, because that makes sense. Yeah, don't mind the giraffe standing on the pier, guys. I don't know. I don't really get into that kind of stuff with photography. I, I'm i cringy about putting in a fake sky. Um, I don't really see anything else in here that I want to use. Um, I'm not, not going to do any sun rays, uh, portrait, no. This is definitely one of my favorite sliders. I probably don't even need it here. 
I shouldn't say sliders, favorite tools. Add a little bit of highlight contrast. Uh, Mid-tones. I like it because you just have much more control over brightening parts of the images. Like if you're trying to balance your light, I just think this can be a really, you know, if you want to figure out, a, you know, if you want to open up your, sometimes when you open up shadows, you lose contrast. You know, it's like you get that real soft look. And I just feel like this is a great way to do it. So I think that looks okay. I mean, before and after, I think the picture is a little bit sharper and punchier. Can I, so can I change the color of the sky? Let me try something here. Add new layer. Color, where's color? Advanced settings, hue. Why does everyone have to be so like unique? Every platform. So I can, I can adjust the sky a little bit. Does that work on the whole image? I put another layer. Actually, it does kind of work on the whole image. I like that blue better. Maybe not quite so much. But I definitely like it better. Okay. All right. Is that good? Do we like it? Details? Are we good on the details? I love details. Oh, we're on a new layer. Let's go back to my... I don't love the layers panel in this, if I'm being honest. Let's go back to the details thing and just see if we want to pump up any more details. I'll go, I'll, I will go way overboard on details with pictures I have in the past. I have a video called details, 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 but I think when you can make things stand out with details, it just looks so good. Large details. I, I rarely, ooh, I rarely ever use medium or large details. It's always small details, but large details is definitely working better for this pier. So I'm gonna go with it, why not? Why the heck not? All right, before, after, so this is our Luminar adjustment, and then this is after Luminar. Um, I'm happy with it. Let's go back to Lightroom and get it cropped. I'd like, actually it probably needs to be straightened too. So I'll straighten and crop it in Lightroom. Um, I think that's kind of a cool shot. The bridge, yeah, we'll see. See how long this takes. How long it takes to process processing. What are your thoughts on that augmented sky thing? Let me know. I don't know about that. I mean, you can put, I mean, I played with a couple of them. It looks like they have more clouds. I probably could have checked on some of the clouds. Maybe you can just like put in a cloud if you didn't want to add a whole sky. I can see the value of that. I just get funny, to me, I don't really love the idea of, um, you know, when you start adding things to pictures that weren't there. Like I said, this whole adding a fake sky, so that is completely flat, or her level. Adding a fake sky, I don't know. I just, I don't love it, but whatever. Okay, one by three. Ooh, puts that surfer right on the thirds line. It's got the horizon right down the middle. Let's see. So that's cool, a one by three crop. A little bit empty over here. But if I pull in, I mean, I'm cutting out so much of the photo. So I mean, we're just saying goodbye to resolution at this point, but I don't think this is anything I'd ever print, maybe. Um. So I like that crop, or let's just try this two by one. Maybe do a little bit more of the beach, a little bit more of the ocean, a little bit more of the sky. So there's that crop. Yeah, I think that works maybe a little bit better on this picture. I don't know, maybe not. Actually, I think I like the three by one. See, this is the problem I have. This is why when I do, like, this is never how I would finish a photo. I'd do this, I'd come back for like, later in the day, the next day, I'd labor over it. I'd stress myself out thinking about little things like crop. I, over, I overthink it. I'm a classic overthinker. 
I don't know. I think that actually looks kind of cool. You've got the, it's a little empty over here, which bothers me. So I might recrop it back to the way I had it before. But Okay, so in the beginning of the video, um, in that little introduction, I'm going to show you kind of what I was explaining or referencing here. So I'm in DaVinci. This is the, the what I put these videos in when I add my text and stuff because I really don't do anything fancy. But as I was watching it through, um, I was noticing the color didn't look right to me. It looked way too blue. So I went back into Lightroom, which I have open here. And normally in Lightroom, I have a white background. So I zoomed way out and I still thought, man, this just looks more blue. It doesn't look the same. I'm not getting the same result. So what I did is change this background to black. I zoomed out and changed the background to black. And I'm thinking, that's really weird. I just don't feel like it looks the same to me. Maybe after this renders out and you're actually watching it, it'll look the same. But I'm gonna try to make this as full screen as I can. I'm not like a, I'm not good with this software. It's very basic, so that's about as big as I can get it right now. So you see that? I believe that's what ended up being the final image. Um, so you see that? And then I come over here, and even if I go full screen here, oh, I'm zoomed in. Hold on. Well, it just doesn't look the same to me. I mean, just looking at it, even changing it to black, it just looks more like well, obviously what I was going for in this picture. Whereas here it looks really, really blue. Like the whole image looks super blue. So anyway, I came back into Lightroom. Let's go back to a normal perspective here. I came back into Lightroom. Not fit, there we go. I came back into Lightroom and I made a couple adjustments because I thought, well, maybe it is too blue and it looks good in Lightroom and my these monitors aren't, you know, they're not legitimately calibrated. They're site calibrated, but, um. I ended up making some different adjustments to it. Basically, I ended up opening up my shadows a little bit more. I did add some more warmth. And this is actually the final image that I ended up coming away with after I had a couple of days to not look at the image and watch the video just to see if it was too blue. So that's now my final image. So, after, so there we go. That's the final image. That is the final image. Warmed it up a little bit. Still has some of those blue tones, not quite as much. But um, I just think that, I think the pier looks a lot better. So let me know your thoughts, comment below on any of the things that we've talked about. Feedback, thumbs up, thumbs down, like, don't like, whatever. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it.